Welcome guys, and today I'm going to show you how you can use wallpaper engine. So first of all, what you'll need to do is download Steam and purchase wallpaper engine. You can do that in the store by going here and typing wallpaper. And as you can see, it is $3, so you need to buy it. So I already did that. So what I need to do is now install it, but I already installed two, so I just click use now. And as you can see, this window pops up. You can launch wallpaper engine, launch wallpaper engine 64 bit. So may use more RAM and there's other options. But now I will use the default one. Click play. And as you can see, wallpaper engine should load up. As you can see, maybe it will update for you. So you will need to wait for a bit and after that and the wallpaper engine should start so as you can see it will say starting wallpaper engine and as you can see nothing popped up so what I need to do is go down here click on this arrow and right click it on wallpaper engine and just click on change wallpaper and as you can see, this will pop up if you have second monitor. So you can you will be able to choose wallpaper per display, stretch single wallpaper or clone single wallpaper. I chose clone single wallpaper. And now I will click just on change wallpaper. And now what you will have here, it is installed wallpapers. So you will have nothing, I guess, if you downloaded a new app. Here is a discover page where you can discover new wallpapers and this is the workshop. Steam workshop where other guys post their work. So as you can see there's dogs and other wallpapers and here is discover page where popular wallpapers get posted. So let's say I go to the installed ones and I want to choose this one. I just choose it and as you can see this change changes or let's say this one and I can adjust here as scheme color playback rate alignment flip if I click flip it will flip and show color options if you change uh, playback rate or whatever click save and that's it how you can install these wallpapers so let's say if i go to the discover and i want this mount fuji wallpaper i just click subscribe and as you can see after some time you will found you will find it right here in installed wallpapers let's say mount fuji and as you can see this is installed already what i can do now is if you hear some music you can turn volume down and you will need to save it as you can see save you will need to name your preset i will name it no sound and as you can see if you save it you will be ready to use it now other if you if your program doesn't start at the computer when you launch it your windows or whatever you are using go to the settings right here and here you will need to find the setting i guess it will be at general yeah and you will need to automatic startup so make sure to start with windows and as you can see you can set priority and that's it you will need to click ok and you will be ready to use this wallpaper engine so these are the settings uh, i guess i showed all the settings for you that you need to use this wallpaper engine also for displays you can choose display wallpaper per display and you can choose other wallpaper for our display so that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching
I hope this video was helpful. Please make sure to subscribe to Guide to Everything and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.